I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From your wake up this morning, you tell me no. Hey, KC fam. It's your girl, Adia K. Clark. And it's another video. Another one. I know you guys have been missing my face. You missed all of this. And I am back. It's been a month and like. I actually think it's been two months. It's been too long though. And I know a lot of you want to know like what it's like being in California, what it's like at Pitzer. And so I'm here to answer some of your questions. For any newcomers to the AKC fam, I am a freshman at Pitzer College, which is a liberal arts college in Claremont, California. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. And I'm also Trinidadian. Big up to my people, because you know Trinidadians are the best Peruvians. And that's a period. Um, you know, we have the best roti, the best curry, the best everything. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just had to say that because people will be coming for Trinidadians like if we're not the best. Anyway, <laughs> I am going to be talking to you about my experience so far. I'm not dropping out yet. So I'm not, you know, going to pursue any other lifestyles yet <laughs> so don't be worried one month in y'all at Pitzer the first question is what classes are you taking for a semester if you don't know Pitzer allows you to take classes at any of the other colleges around the consortium so there's Pomona, Harvey Mudd, Scripps, Pitzer and I'm missing one Claremont McKenna um, so I'm taking two classes at Pomona and two classes at Pitzer. I'm taking a politics class at Pomona from 11 to 12.15. It's called Slavery and Its Afterlives. It's so amazing. Um, we just finished this book called Scenes of Subjection. I really, really, really recommend it. It's by Sadia Hartman. I'm always left with a heavy heart every time I come out of that class because I'm just I'm just so astonished. This is a class that I get to take in college. Like I'm really talking about slavery in a very deep and philosophical way that I didn't talk about in high school. Like, if y'all thought Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, you thought wrong. Like so many things that I learned in middle school and high school are like they're basically telling me like it isn't true. Like sorry to my history teachers, but yeah. So that's one class that I take on Mondays and Wednesdays and I also have Advanced Modern at Pomona on Mondays and Wednesdays from 4.45 to 6.15 so Mondays and Wednesdays are always like my longest days um, Tuesdays and Thursdays I have a Media Studies class it's called Race, Capitalism and Technology I also have my freshman year seminar on Tuesdays and Thursdays it's called Observing Color it's basically me looking at colors. I want to say it's an art class, essentially. Like, I'm in an art class, guys. That's what this freshman year seminar is. Are you in any extracurricular activities? I auditioned for the fall concert for dance, and I was assigned to a group, and I went to rehearsals, but then I had to quit because, you know, stuff happens, and that's that so as of right now I am NOT in like any dance related extracurriculars I think I just needed to settle into college more before I start really diving deep into dance again I'm also a part of BSU so lots fun being around all the black people here there isn't many if you didn't know <laughs> Anyone special on campus? <laughs> I know exactly who <laughs> who asked me this question and I know what response they're looking for and what they wanted to get out of me, but I'm gonna give an honest response. I'm gonna say, no, there is not anyone special on campus. I'm still single. I find myself special. I find my roommate special. I find my friends special. They're all the special I need in my life right now. <laughs> What's the hardest thing about college? Whew, somebody, oh God. The most challenging part of college is, 
I guess not feeling alone or not isolating myself and not wanting to order food all the time because campus food can get very basic. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, this campus food is nasty. Like, it's not nasty as in, like, they don't have a lot of flavor. But it's nasty in, why are you making the same shit every week? Like, I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling. I need something to satisfy this hole in my soul. <laughs> because this food is just not it for me. <laughs> So the most challenging thing is ordering food, like not using my money wisely. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> the next question is, do you have friends? <laughs> I have friends, y'all. I'm not, I'm not a loner here. I have friends. I'm going to introduce you to them in a future video. We're probably gonna play Would You Rather or something, or do a mukbang, but I have friends. How long does it take to get to your class? Okay, so like I said before, I have two classes at Pomona and two classes at Pitzer. So if I were to walk to my Pomona classes, it would take 20 minutes. But your girl bought herself a bicycle hey i got me a nice pink bike it's super cute it has like a little cup thing on the side and a phone thing it's hella cute i really love it it was so cheap at walmart so with my bike i really just be i'll be on there <laughs> and i get to my class in like five minutes so far do you think your high school prepared you for college i don't know socially definitely did not prepare me because I knew those people for so long I was comfortable in the environment and I didn't feel the urge to like make new friends I'm gonna put that in quotation marks I didn't feel the urge to make new friends or like to do anything out of my comfort zone because like I said I knew people for 8 to 12 years so coming here where I don't know anyone it was kind of weird for me to make friends i am still scared to walk up to someone new or someone different academically i feel like my high school definitely prepared me and let me tell you why some people are going to be like oh my god really and some people are going to be like oh my god it's probably because like you were a good student in high school or something but Based on the humanities classes that I'm taking this semester, I can strongly say my high school prepared me because I can easily write an essay, I can easily write a research paper, I can easily analyze a text, take notes, ask myself questions to understand what the author is saying. Coming into college, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I didn't peak in high school. Like, I don't know what I would do if I get like a C like or a B, <laughs> but now that I'm a month in and like the classes that I have are pretty they're pretty okay to me um I can definitely say my high school prepared me just know it's definitely preparing you I know that when it comes to demerits detention like it does not matter in college like Professors do not care if you call out like they want you to call out like they want you to start a conversation in class Like they want you to talk like they don't care. You don't even have to ask to use the bathroom Like that's one thing that I was so like I Don't have to raise my hand to ask to use the bathroom I don't have to wait until I finish the do now to go to the bathroom like I could just easily walk out the classroom and go like who's really stopping me just make sure you're not putting your energy into how the school treats your behavior versus your academics make sure you solely care about your academics like if you get a demerit so what just know at the end of the day nobody cares about certain things that my high school is implementing in the school nobody cares about that and if you're not from my high school, I'm so sorry. I know I'm being very vague, but I just don't want to like call out everything explicitly. How stressful is college? In high school, I was stressed. I was stressed. I was taking on like four or five extracurriculars with like six, seven AP classes. Personally, 
for someone that has been that was stressed out for eight years in a very hard school <laughs> i am not stressed in college because like i have the time to do whatever i want i finished my classes really at like 12 15 like the latest 1 30. i have so much time to do my homework i have so much time to hang out with my friends i think as long as you know how to manage your time you're gonna be good in college and it also depends on the kind of classes that you're taking like if you're taking a stem course you have so much labs and you have so much work that you have to do compared to like humanities you have to read like the reading is a lot but if that's something you enjoy like you're more motivated to do it so it doesn't seem like it's taking up your time how is college different from high school um okay one thing i'm sorry i just have to say it this college is not toxic like the friends the people they're not toxic everybody really like genuinely cares about you like everyone's very genuine here like the people i've met so far they're genuine they're caring everyone wants to see you succeed so that's one difference it's definitely not a toxic environment like no one's in your business no one cares who you're dating no one cares who you're hooking up with like nobody cares about that stuff everybody just wants to see you doing your best another difference is like i said the whole bathroom situation like if you need to use the bathroom go to the bathroom you don't have to ask the teacher for any and everything so out of that i would say freedom to do you like freedom to do whatever you want just knowing like what's at cost you also live here and so you have freedom from your parents <laughs> your parents aren't going to tell you what to do you have to do stuff on your own um like you have to do your laundry you have to <laughs> like clean your bathroom there's so much stuff that you have to do on your own you have to learn how to spend your money wisely that's another difference just know college is similar in the sense that like you're still sitting down in the classroom you still have a perfect like you still have some a teacher talking to you you still have tests like these are basic stuff that you still have it's just the freedom and like what you do with it next question is what is the workload like for me i have like i said like i keep saying um i have all humanities classes so i have to read and write a lot i would say ugh, it's so much reading <laughs> it's so much reading and too little writing i would have to read like 200 pages a night or even more for my classes like it's so much reading but the classes are like mondays and wednesdays and tuesdays and thursdays and then i have a four-day weekend so i have time to spread out the reading but the workload isn't it isn't intense like my high school like in high school you would have six seven different classes and you would get homework from each class here it's not like that like, how you manage your time are you homesick i miss my sisters <laughs> i miss my family i miss new york because of the food because of like dance because of like the people i met at work but it isn't to the point where i'm like i desperately need to go home like i desperately need to see these people I'm probably saying I desperately need to go to, like go home so I can have some good food like that's why I would desperately want to go home because the food here is just driving me crazy one way that I definitely like deal with that homesickness is by calling like my family members facetiming them i and if that doesn't happen i would look at videos and pictures yeah that's pretty much it what are parties like hey <laughs> okay so i have to admit in high school i was not a party person like there was this one time i was actually doing homework outside of a party that my school was throwing <laughs> but in college in college your girl be busting it like y'all don't even know i'ma post a video i'ma 
insert that video right there your girl be getting it <laughs> only because i feel like this school needs some culture like it needs somebody to show them like what whining is what's the difference between whining and twerking because people don't know that party scene honestly depends on the people that you're around like your friends who you go with what you did before the party i don't know what people be doing before they get to the party i don't know but <laughs> It depends on all of that. Um, there was this, there was a party called a toga party. And y'all know what togas are, like white sheets, wraps. Yeah, like Greek goddess stuff. Yeah, but there was that party one day and past a party called Pan-African Student Association. And let me tell y'all. All the white people went to Toga and all the black people went to Pasa. And you knew which party was going to hit because the black parties are always the best parties. I'm sorry. No, actually, no, I'm not sorry. It's just the truth. And the last question, last but not least, is what is it like to be a POC on campus? I don't know, but for some reason, like, there are moments where I'm like, Am I really going to PWI? Because I hang around my black friends the majority of the time. So it doesn't feel like I'm at a PWI. Like it doesn't feel like this entire environment is white because I'm around them. Like they just, it's like a nice, it's a nice bubble. It's a nice bubble to be in the VSU room and like going to Pomona to hang around the black people in Pomona. So it's definitely not that bad. And my roommate just walked in with like a weird face. But where are you? Hello. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So with that overall, my experience has been pretty decent so far. Like, decent is my word, but I don't know. I'm really, I'm still happy to be here. I'm still thankful and grateful to be here. And <laughs> I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. The semester isn't over, so I'm definitely going to be making another video saying, like, first semester, how did it go, you know? But... <laughs> <laughs> but i hope you all enjoyed this video make sure you comment like if you have more questions i'm definitely willing to respond to them and answer them uh to all of my people applying to college good luck don't stress yourself out you got this just be honest just be genuine